I fell in love with stock trout fishing when I was just four years old out of my grandfather's boat, the Gully Wumper. So today, I've got 10 tips that are gonna help you catch more stock trout. What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video dedicated to tips for catching stock trout. Now whether you're chasing stock trout on a lake, a reservoir, a little pond, a little stream, or even the river, I've got 10 tips that are gonna help you catch more trout, catch more trout faster, and catch the biggest stock trout in your body of water. Now let's start with tip number 10, which is to use a light setup. And when it comes to stock trout, you're talking about anywhere between eight inches to say 16 inch trout. And these guys will fight pretty good, but they're not behemoths or brood stocks. You're talking, you know, 10 pound trout. And because these trout are light and smaller, you can get away with a smaller, lighter setup when you're going out to chase trout. Now for a typical light setup, think four to six pounds on your main line. Think bait holder hooks, say size 10, size 12 you don't need the biggest reel a 1000 size reel is perfect even a trout rod somewhere between six to seven feet in a light action maybe light medium action is the perfect setup to allow that trout to snag your bait hook itself and you're going to have a big takedown and fun time reeling in those trout now the one thing you don't want to do with those light setups is to set really hard hooks fall backwards on your ass and make a fool of yourself don't ask me how i know now tip number nine is to fish right away after a place has been stocked. And across the country, you can use your state's stocking schedule to know which body of water trout are getting stocked at, either by the day or by the week, like we have it here in Oregon. Now when it comes to the stocking schedule, you better expect that there's gonna be places where people are getting up early and gonna be there before first light to get their perfect fishing spot to go after stock trout. So if you're gonna go early or go on the day of stocking, you better be prepared to get there early. Now, if you're someone like me, I typically like to wait a couple days after a place has been stocked, maybe it's been fished with a little bit of pressure, and I like to go in there and fish for those stock trout. Now, there's still gonna be plenty around, especially at big lakes where you're talking about tens of thousands of fish that are gonna be around. So if you don't wanna fish right away, take a couple days, get in there when there's a little bit less pressure, and go slam them. Now tip number eight is to go simple, and this is referring to baits. And to go simple, I'm talking about power bait and inline spinners. Now power bait and inline spinners are probably the two most common baits to go after stock trout. So if you're fishing a place with a ton of trout, you don't need to go complex with your setup and your baits. You know, start out with something that's pretty simple, plunking power bait off the bottom, casting some spinners, seeing if the fish are maybe on the top edge of the water, or plunking off the bottom to see if the fish are a little bit deeper. Now with power bait and spinners, you can fish different levels of the water column to figure out where the trout are hanging out and hopefully you land on the perfect spot. And no matter what your age, it's always fun to hear people say, oh my gosh, I've got glitter all over my hands after they put the power bait on their hook. Now tip number seven is to fish inlets and outlets where you're gonna have flowing water and typically a lot cooler water where stock trout are gonna wanna hang out. And this is especially important after a body of water has been stocked for a while and the trout have acclimated to that body of water, they're gonna move around and they're gonna wanna find the cooler water, water in areas that have more food and flow. And in that case, we're talking inlets and outlets of water. So if you're trout fishing a place that hasn't been stocked in a couple weeks or say a couple months, go to the best spots where you're gonna have high traffic areas, and that's gonna be inlets and outlets. Now tip number six is to pay close attention to the water temperature after a body of water has been stocked with trout. The trout get transferred from hatcheries into the body of water. And if there's a big difference in the water temperature, say from the hatchery to your body of water, that's gonna cause a little bit of shock to the trout, especially when they get first planted. They're gonna have to get accustomed to the water, the temperature, and just a lot of different factors. And so if they're going from someplace that is 60 degree water into a lake that's maybe 40 degree, 
degree water, that is a huge shock. And so it might take a little while for the fish to get acclimated and start to bite right away. You know, this is like if you go into the shower and you accidentally turn it on the cold water setting instead of the warm water setting, you're gonna freak out for a second and adjust quickly. And the same thing goes when it comes to stock trout. If they're going into a lot cooler water, you need to make adjustments to your baits, to your presentations and to the areas that you're fishing and hopefully you get after the bite after the trout have been shocked. Now tip number five is to flash them. And no, I don't mean to take off all your clothes and flash the fish, that's not what I mean. What I'm talking about is to get a lot of flash in the water to get the trout's attention. And when we're talking flash, I'm talking spinners, I'm talking lake trolls, I'm talking four fenders, and I'm talking inline flashers from Yakima Bait Company to get a lot of flash, a lot of UV, a lot of glow in the water that's gonna get the attention of the trout. Now whether they're freshly stocked trout or trout that have been around for a while in the water, that flash is gonna attract the trout from farther distances. You're gonna get groups or singles of trout to come in, look at that flash from a far distance and go absolutely bonkers for your bait or your presentation. And this is especially key on overcast or super sunny days. The flash could mean all the difference to the trout and it could mean a day between not catching anything and a really epic day. Now tip number four is to give them the corn. And corn is a typical bait and scent that we use when we go after stock trout. The biggest reason being is at the hatcheries, they feed the trout a corn-based meal pellet for food to get those trout built up before they transfer them from the hatchery to the body of water. So it only makes sense that you use corn-based scent, corn-based power bait, and corn-based gel, say from Procure, to add to your baits for that extra cord attractant to get the trout to bite right away. And one thing you absolutely have to be very careful about is taking that jar of scent, throwing it into your tackle box and forgetting to close it because when you get home, your tackle box is gonna smell like a corn maze in the fall. Don't ask me how I know. Now tip number three is to use movement to your advantage. And we're talking the baits that you're using, whether it's spinners, whether it's mice tails, trout magnets, night crawlers, anything with movement and flow in the water is an added bonus and going to attract those stock trout to get in there and bite your bait really quickly. So if it's a super calm day on the water with say no wind, you're gonna want something with a little bit of movement. So spinners is that perfect bait to go with. Now, if it's a little bit of a windy day, that's a perfect situation where you could float a bobber and a bait underneath because it's going to be moving in the water, creating that flow. So as you go out and chase stock trout, make sure your baits have plenty of movement. Now tip number two is a critical one and that is to fish near boat launches or key high traffic areas where places are gonna get stocked with the trout. So as hatcheries transport the fish from the hatchery to the body of water, there's gonna be common areas where they plant and stock the trout. Now boat launches will be the number one area where they'll back the truck down and offload those fish right into the water. So it makes perfect sense if you're going after stock trout to focus on areas near the boat launch and near the docks first. Now if you're fishing for stock trout in creeks and streams, pay attention to bridges or areas where the truck can pull over and dump those trout into those body of water. Those are also going to be good areas to target the trout first when you get out there. Now that we've gone through tips 10 through 2, what's the number one tip when it comes to stock trout fishing? Well, that is to fish early in the day. Now, when a place has been stocked with trout, you could pretty much fish it all day long, but your best chance and your most likely chance to get a fast limit or to get your quickest bites are going to be in the early morning hours. You know, some days it could be right at 10 o'clock as the water is perfectly warming up, and some days it could be right at first light. Other days, it could be in that mid-morning time frame when the sun finally hits the water and the trout start to get on the feed. So wake up early, get yourself a nice cup of coffee, get your gear all set up, fling your gear out there and get fishing early in the morning, snap a photo of the sunrise and just enjoy the beautiful day of trout fishing that's to come. 
And there you guys have it, the top 10 stock trout fishing tips. Hope you guys got some great information today to take out to the field and catch a lot of stock trout this year and years beyond. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.